Today I'm going to give you a look at an interesting state park right in the southwestern corner of Utah. You can see Utah Arizona zona border here. This is the city of St. George. Over here we have the city of a hurricane. Over here is Zion National Park. But right in the middle here is Sand Hollow State Park. It's very unique because of all the orange sand dunes that are surround it. Very popular with ATVers. In this video I'm going to show you a few of the camping areas and a little bit of driving around the park. Uh, we'll start up here. We stayed a few nights in this west side campground. It's a full hookup campground set on a on a ridge. And then we went around the other side and spent uh, a week or so down here. This is the primitive area of the, the camping areas. Um, so we camped right here in the beachfront down here. So let's get down on the ground and we'll, we'll show you those two areas and driving along this side and then finish up where I hiked up onto the, the ridge here and give you an overview of it. Well, it's March 8th, 2022, and we are back in Utah. Woo! Love Utah. You don't get to come to Utah too much just because it's fairly high in elevation, so the temps are pretty cool in the winter. But now we're getting close to spring. We've made our way up from where we were down at Snowbird Mesa near Lake Mead. Came up uh, a little bit in elevation. It's a little cool today. Maybe only get up around into the 50s, but 70s are on the way in a few days. But this time of year, you can even get snow up here. But uh, it's gorgeous. This is a park called Sand Hollow State Park. And we decided we'd come here for a few days just to kind of give a chance to, so I can clean out the tanks. We've been off grid for three months now so you know the waste tanks when you're using a, a, a sewer tote and stuff like that they get a little bit gummed up so this gives me a chance to really flush it out there's our campsite down there see the cougar uh, it's costing us $38 a night right now and it's a very busy campground because <clears throat> it's a popular area for people to come not far off is Zion National Park and a lot of things for, for people to see in this area. Over this way, over the hill, that way is St. George, really pretty city. Lots of great views. I'll swing back over this way and you'll see this uh, ridge of sandstone that's really incredible looking. And then above it are some mountains that have snow cap peaks still. So that's a really pretty scene. Right along there, along the bottom of that, runs Interstate 15, and it heads up north the whole way up towards Salt Lake City. So we'll just swing towards the north here, show you a few things that are fairly close by. I'm thinking, I'm not entirely sure, but I think up there where you see that snow Below that snow is some red rock, and I think that's Collab Terrace or Collab Canyons, part of a Zion National Park. Not the main part, but a, kind of a different part that you drive up. We might take a drive up there and check it out. Probably won't go into Zion this time because it gets so freaking busy, and we've been there a number of times already. If I go over this way, beyond this uh, flat mesa in the background, you can see some of the the peaks and mountains that are part of uh, incredible Zion National Park. I'll leave links to previous videos there. And we'll come back here to Sand Hollow. They have a big lake here, so it's popular in the summer and that for people to get out boating and fishing. They have a few different camping areas across the lake there on the far side of the lake is some primitive camping I believe. I think it's still around twenty dollars though. But you can camp along the, the shoreline there. You gotta watch you don't get stuck in the sand. And then over on the other side on the other side of this big rock on the far shore is a, a kind of a no hookup site I believe or maybe it just has a few hookups and I think it's twenty eight a night. Anyway you can check out Sand Hollow State Park. Then there's all sorts of uh, 
orange sand dunes, very popular with ATVers and 4x4s to get back in the back country there. We're probably going to go back behind all this into a place called Warner Valley and find ourselves a, uh, a camping spot on the, the free BLM land that's back there. But like I say we just stopped here for a few days to try to get groceries and stock up and kind of flush out our tanks, that sort of thing. Looks like down here there's some uh, law enforcement of some type doing some practice with their vehicles there, driver training. Anyway, that's all for now. I just wanted to give you a, a look at where we're camping early March. March 14th and just a gorgeous day here at San Hollow State Park, Utah, just outside St. George. Let's zoom over towards where we were staying before in the full hookup area you can see over there. So what we decided was to extend our stay and move over to the dry camping area. They have a primitive dry camping area, $25 a night includes. You can get rid of your garbage and use the dump station all you want and all the park facilities. So we booked in actually for 10 days because there was some good weather happening. We came in on the worst day. It was somewhere around 45 degrees Fahrenheit out and the wind was howling but we were able to get a good spot because of that. Zoom over across there, see if we can see where we're camped. Over in the primitive camping area. Some places you can get right down to the beach, but it's a little hard to get the trailer down there, I found. There's quite a bit of bugs right on the beach, so we went back a little ways and scouted out a nice little spot. That's where we are now. Weather's well, supposed to get even warmer, it's supposed to get up into the mid-70s. And uh, not much wind for the last while, so that's nice. The weekend, though, a lot of uh, ATVers and dune buggy guys show up and race around, which is to be expected. There's a, a huge complex of trails and sand dunes, this orange sand goes way in the back. We've camped way back there at a place called Warner Valley. There's BLM land back there. We went back there and scouted some places out, but we'd have to drag the trailer over some rough roads. And the cell signal wasn't very good. Kind of bizarre, the color of the sand. It's almost like Tang, <laughs> the old Tang orange drink. Along here there's all kinds of uh, day used picnic areas. You can see over here is a, uh, a spot to park your truck and unload your ATVs. Man, when the wind was howling this sand was just blowing across this road. This area over here is uh, called the Sand Pit uh, Campground, I believe. It's 28 bucks a night. It's got more kind of designated campsites. I think some may have electric. I'm not 100% sure on that. But you're kind of crowded together in there. Big pull-throughs though, so people can bring their ATVs and that stuff. So We're going to go over this way to show you the primitive camp where we are. here. See this little patch of black and sand on the road. ATV caught fire the other day. Man, did it go up quick. Pouring black smoke off of it, I guess, from the all the fiberglass burning. A little 
little bit rough. Had to kind of pick and choose your camping areas. If you get too far off into the, the sand, you can get stuck. Some areas are harder than others. There is some picnic tables around and of course a bulk toilet right here. And you can see our happy face flag. Ours is the high one. Someone else is flying one too. Oh, a little rough here. <laughs> I think the views are nicer over here because you get across the water to the mountains is your view. So over that way towards that uh, kind of little that butte or whatever mesa up there, below that there's more spaces, but I think you kind of get a little quieter over there, but it kind of blocks off your mountain view. That's why we chose over here, put up with a bit of noise at times, usually during the day all the ATV people leave and they're out having fun so it's pretty quiet during the day. But this is our spot here. And here we are. Chose this spot because nobody was going to camp on this side with all these uh, bushes in here so Everybody's going to be camping on the other side, so we nudged right in here. Got a nice little area to camp at. Nice view of the mountains. We can also stroll down to the, the beachfront if we like. Take a walk down there, let you see. Here we are down in the reeds. So yeah, there's a camp spot right here. Looked a little harder to get into. And then you can see way over there, there's some people. Lots of people come here on boats to do some fishing. Lots of birds around here. Ducks and uh, saw an eagle actually, quite a few hawks. Seagulls, surprising to see seagulls way in here. Over here, there's another point that you can get. I've seen a few rigs get out to. We have to watch taking our trailer out to some of those areas. They get kind of rutted, so we start to roll side to side. End up hitting the fifth wheel overhang on the bed of the truck wouldn't be good, so I don't need to be doing that. <laughs> Still, beautiful spot. Just look at the color of that soil. That's Utah for you. Come up here, you're going to have a lot of red dust in your RV by the time you leave. Makes for a pretty scene. Let's see back across there is the full hookup area. Another view for you, just taking a little hike through the marsh here. Really pretty, lots of birds. Well, we just have a day or two left here at San Hollow State Park. Out for a morning hike. Gorgeous morning. Had a touch of rain this morning. It's supposed to be a little bit of a cold front moving in later. Winds are going to kick up, so we're going to hunker down for a day or two before we leave and start making our way northward. But we've had a great time here. Basically stayed here a couple weeks now. Been a great place as a base station to camp and explore around the southwestern area of Utah here. Let's zoom in and show you where we are. That's down in the primitive camp. 
So over the course of time, people have come and gone. Sometimes it's quieter, but it has been spring break, so there has been quite a few people actually lately, but they're all clearing out. Today's Sunday, and I guess the, the spring break is over, so a lot of them are clearing out today, so probably have a couple peaceful days before we leave. But wow, what a spectacular location. Everything is so orange here. <laughs> There's that sand pit campground over there. And then up there is all kinds of trails and dunes that the ATV ATVers explore, but there's definitely lots of uh, nice little hiking trails around here, like this morning, just hiking up into the hills. Looking around, me and the rabbits, lots of rabbits up here. Just starting to see spring flowers Nice to see, actually today, March 20th, first day of spring. Woohoo! Winter's over. Another six weeks or so we have before we're gonna be back in uh, BC and on Vancouver Island for the summer. Till next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Cheers everyone. Thank you.